Okay, hi there, welcome to a micro video. Uh, many students study collusion as part of their work on oligopoly and duopoly. So this is just a short video looking at the difference between horizontal and vertical collusion. So collusion is when rival businesses in a sector, in an industry, uh, decide to cooperate for their own mutual benefit. And uh, collusion can, can be through many ways. They can share a market or, in fact, they could decide to try to fix the price. So price fixing is where participants in the market band together to artificially set the price of a particular good or a service. Horizontal collusion takes place when there's a collusive agreement between businesses at the same stage of the supply chain of the production process. Uh, for example, they might agree to fix prices above the competitive level. And typically horizontal collusion is illegal under competition law. It's regarded in the UK, the European Union, United States as a breach of antitrust legislation. So collusive price fixing, horizontal between firms is when competitors at the same stage of production agree not to compete over a given product. And here are some recent examples. In 2017, the European Union's Competition Authority fined a number of car part makers, including Valeo and Denso, over 155 million euros for having operated cartels in several markets. There's a current investigation into the farmed salmon sector in the European Union, the extent to which producers there, the big farming giants, are colluding to fix the price of farmed salmon. Uh, the Competition and Marks Authority in the UK recently fined three building firms over £30 million for price fixing. Uh, they were coordinating their prices, they shared the market by allocating customers and they regularly exchanged competitively sensitive information. They're guilty on all three counts of collusive behaviour there. Another example more recently is the, the big battle to unearth price fixing in the generic drugs market. A number of US companies, including the big ones, Novartis, uh, Sandoz and Pfizer, uh, as a number of United States states announced a lawsuit uh, alleging an anti-competitive conspiracy to inflate the prices for certain drugs. And in Australia, uh, their biggest uh, steelmaker, Blue Scope Steel, steel has been uh, sued for alleged cartel behaviour in relation to the supply of flat old steel products. So that's horizontal collusion. Now vertical collusion happens at different stages of the supply chain. If it's any collusive agreement between companies or businesses trading at different levels or stages of supply. So for example a manufacturer might collude with a, a wholesaler, a wholesaler might collude with a retailer, a licensor might collude with a licensee. But engage, it happens when businesses in the same industry engage in anti-competitive behaviour but at different stages of the supply chain. Uh, typically, it, it occurs between a manufacturer and a retailer who sells their products. But it could be, for example, an abattoir and a meat processing business making some sort of price fixing deal uh, but only between one food manufacturer giving them an, an unfair competitive advantage. A digital e-commerce platform might favour one group of publishers or suppliers over another, or indeed might even refuse to supply a particular business. And refusal to supply is called vertical restraint. And again, it's a form of vertical collusion and it's deemed to be anti-competitive. So there we go. Uh, those are the key differences between horizontal and vertical collusion. Make sure you distinguish between them. If you get a question on collusive behaviour, in an oligopolistic market.